Joanna, welcome. Good to have you with us. Uh, you say in, in the note I was given, fixed income markets are beginning to look like a place for positive returns and yields. This is after a long period where many investors regarded bonds, as or at least treasuries, as fundamentally uninvestable. The, 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 the turn has taken place here. If I buy your thesis, where in the fixed income world should I invest? Is it T-bills, munis, junk, what? Yeah, we think that um, actually the short end of the curve is really interesting right now. And I think a very intuitive thing to do is is to look at treasury exposure. Um, if 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 for anything, just getting yield on your, your cash again is is important. And I think what we would, would say going forward in um, broader fixed income portfolios is, you know, we've come off, you know, uh, yields a little bit over zero going up to four with just in with this year. Yeah. And so we see that the fixed income markets are structurally changing. So even if you're not ready to get into credit, you might start considering that there's some really important entry points because fixed, fixed income is structurally different now and will be for the foreseeable future. So you'll be getting a lot more um, yield in your total return. You'll be getting diversification back in your portfolio and with potentially upcoming economic downturn, that's just something that hasn't been the case uh, in the last right. 10 years. Just, just as it's difficult to tell equity investors to invest into a falling market, it has to be difficult to tell bond investors today uh, that, hey, we're getting to a point where bonds are really investable again after the kind of year that bond investors have had on a total return basis. Their yields are up, but their, uh, uh, their value of their bonds or bond fund shares have gone down. Yeah, I think that, you know, this year has been a, a really painful year across the board in the equity portion of your portfolio or the, the fixed income portion of portfolio. But we now are getting to levels. We, we have clear conviction and action by the Fed. It's it's kind of irrefutable and investors should have no further doubt that the Fed's going to continue to be aggressive about additional rate hikes. But we like to say at Bond Blocks is you should be getting into the market differently than you have before. And so you'll need more tools that are more precise to manage those risks. Um, duration is really um, a key um, factor that every fixed income investor has to deal with every day. So interest rates are rising. You need you need the tools to do that. And that's why we like um, you know more precise treasury tools to, to affect that, that exposure. Joanna, what do you make of the sell-off in the U.S. junk bond market, the high-yield market? I know you've been studying the balance sheets of a lot of these companies that are quote-unquote risky, uh, but where do you see the prospect of, of defaults in the coming months, if any? I, I would say that, you know, there is there has been and clients that we've been working with. There have been a lot of discussions about staying in high yield, but shaping your portfolio to higher quality high yield. A lot of interest in our um, XBB product, which is a portfolio of higher quality, higher quality um, high yield um, bonds. And I think that that's more what we're hearing about versus the, the default is, OK, I, I, I may believe that that's coming, but what can I do today? What's actionable today to anticipate that and transition my portfolio into higher quality?